pumpling, the human factor seems to be a critical factor for the shipping industry, especially bearing in mind that uh, the seafarers right now are, first of all, hard to find because of the war in Russia and Ukraine, as well as uh, due to the pandemic. We, we still have uh, the influence of the pandemic. Yes, it couldn't be more challenging. We're absolutely competing in the race for talent. And what we're trying to do is think of lots of different creative ways to do that, to make shipping a really compelling career opportunity for colleagues. How are the ship owners going to deal with that? Where are they going to get all the seafarers and uh, uh, the crews that they need in order to keep their industry competitive? I think one of the things we were talking about at the conference this morning, which I think is going to be really critical, is about how we can play a part in really raising awareness of the great career roles in shipping. They are undoubtedly challenging roles, but the more we can reach perhaps into education, the better chance we have of creating early careers talent who want to come and join this fantastic industry. So how long do you think this is going to take? Because starting today, it will probably take two, three or four, five years. I, I think that's right. And I think what we have to do is think about a multiple different, uh, different types of approaches. So as well as trying to attract early careers, I think we also have to encourage people who are already in professional careers to come and join this organization, these industries. And by really demonstrating what a compelling opportunity it really is. What kind of incentives do you think that uh, the shipping industry needs to provide with uh, to the seafarers or the potential crews? I think at the moment everybody is um, very conscious of the challenging economic environment that we're in. And I think what we can provide is really competitive um, attraction uh, reward and recognition. And we can also provide really great career and development opportunities. There is a real uh, history and tradition of people joining uh, shipping early in their careers and being able to develop and have great career progression opportunities. The hardest thing at the moment for all of us is that there's a very small pool of talent that's available to us all. So we're all competing for that talent. And I think what we have to demonstrate to people is the great career opportunities that they can have. I think undoubtedly in the current geopolitical unrest, the uh, economic challenges that we've got, people are starting to think about where are their career opportunities for the future. And I think shipping is one that can give people really exciting different, different careers. What mechanism do you think that the shipping industry can actually put in place, in effect, essentially to secure the welfare of the sea crew members? Safety and well-being has absolutely got to be at the core of what we do. And we are absolutely working so hard together. I think we spoke earlier at one of the panels today about the fact that there, this is a united approach. This isn't different organizations competing against each other. It's one of those areas that we can really come together and say that we have to put the safety and well-being at the core of what we do.